Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how we can create a sun using the Unity Particle System VFX. So let's get started. Start by creating a new particle system and rename it to sun underscore particle system. Reset its transform. After that, inside the renderer, set the max particle size to three. Okay, check pre-warm and now set the lifetime to render between two constants and the value will be 5 and 25. After that, set the speed to 0 and set the size to render between two constants and the value will be 10 and 20. After that, set the rotation to random between two constants and the values will be between minus 180 to 180. Okay, now we need a cloud texture. So we will open our Photoshop. So start by creating a new file of 128 by 128 pixels okay zoom in paint the background to black create a new layer choose the brush tool change the brush size make sure you have selected a blurred brush now reduce the size again turn the opacity to 50 and select the color to white and paint random strokes here and there yeah that looks good now set the opacity to 10 paint again okay it's not 10 paint again now select the eraser tool and set the opacity to 50 and flow to 70 and reduce its size and randomly remove select the brush again with the opacity to 20 and now something like this set the razor again and set the opacity to 25 and erase it like this Now hide the background. No. Go to blending options. Outer glow. And set the values. Something like this. Press OK. Hide the background. Save it as a PNG by pressing Ctrl and S. And rename it to clouds underscore matte clouds underscore rename it to clouds and save it now close photoshop and drag and drop your cloud mat inside your assets folder set alpha is transparent hit apply create a new material and rename it to clouds underscore matte next change its uh, shader legacy shader particles additive drag and drop your cloud texture and drag and drop your cloud texture onto your sun particle system restart it and it looks something like this okay now what we need to do is we have to change the value of emission to 100 after that set the shape to a sphere and uh, set the radius to 10 so yeah this is how our sphere looks inside color over lifetime 
set the start and end color to an orange color this one to orange as well add two keyframe here and select this one to zero like this now this looks good inside rotation over lifetime set random between two constants and set the values to minus 15 and plus 15 after that create a new effect and rename it to glow underscore particle system drag and drop your clouds mat onto it okay now check preform set the start lifetime to random between two constants and the values will be 5 and 25 speed will be 0 size will be random between two constants and the values will be 20 and 30 after that set rotation to random between two constants and the values will be minus 180 to 180 next is emission so the value will be 250 and shape will be sphere radius will be 1 and color over life will be red and add two keyframes here something like this that's it and rotation will be random between two constants it will be between minus 50 to plus 50 okay so that's it that's how we create a sun effect stop okay i think we should rotate both of these a little bit more this one like 50 and 50 it's moving a bit too much but i think that looks good let's reduce the opacity of this one that's it so that's how we create sun effect in unity using the particle system i hope you enjoyed the tutorial make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos we will see you in a new video goodbye